breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, Ooh. I think I'm losing it. There's only so much stress we can take, eh? That's the border wall right there, look at that. Wow. That's the border wall. Wow. I think we better turn off our cameras. Okay. What have we got? What have we got for breakfast? <laughs> yes. Fried beans. Fried beans. Scrambled egg. Rice. Zucchini. And then here a really nice meaty potato dish. Salad. And then a noodle salad. Wow, that is not a bad breakfast spread. Wow, do you know how happy I am? Wow. It's amazing. Okay, ready? <laughs> Gracias. Okay, are you ready to fail to enter the US? Sweetheart! No, are you ready to successfully enter the US? Exactly. On a scale of one is to totally relaxed and ten is like completely anxious. I think I'm on a twenty. You know, I'm nervous crossing borders like when we've got everything, like everything we actually need. <laughs> yes, and now true. we're going to the border without a key piece of document that we do need. So it's even worse. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 389 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Ensenada in Mexico and we are on our final ride in Mexico because we are heading to the US border. Let me guys show you the route for today. So we are here in Ensenada and today we are going to be heading straight up on the three to Tecate and the US border. So we made three crazy big rides to get here from the bottom of the Baja California Peninsula. So the last three days have been pretty intense, riding a lot, some amazing landscapes, a billion cactuses. It's been absolutely incredible riding here. But now we have only an hour and a half to go and that'll be it for Mexico because we will be at the border. So there's like three borders that you can cross into the USA. There's Tijuana, which is the busiest border crossing apparently in the world. So we thought better avoid that one. <laughs> then there's one called Mexicali, which is a little bit out of the way for us to be honest, because our aim is to get to San Diego today. So we decided to go for the third option, which is kind of in the middle, which is called Tecate. And that's a bit of a quieter border, but it's still close enough to San Diego, kind of within an hour's ride. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of a better chance of getting through without waiting hours and hours and hours. But we're incredibly nervous because there is one key key document that we need that we don't have to get into the US and that is an exemption letter from the Environmental Protection Agency for Bumblebee. It's basically saying that Bumblebee qualifies to get into the USA for emission standards and everything like this. But you have to apparently apply for this letter three weeks in advance and we literally found out about this requirement to get in about a week ago. So I sent off the request for the letter, they got back to me and said your request is going to be processed in 14 to 21 business days. I emailed them back and I said, oh please, you know, we're going to go across the border next week, can you please help us out, da da da. And the reply was, all exemptions are processed in 14 to 21 business days. Pretty much. No, not going to help you guys out, <laughs> just going to do my standard thing. Yeah. We were hoping for some reason that they kind of saw that and were going to give us this letter, but it's been a week and no letter has arrived. I just checked my emails this morning. Yeah. So that means we are forced to try and cross the border without this letter. Now, we did research online, we even emailed Itchy Boots and she responded to us, which is awesome. Thanks, Norali. And she told us that she got through and nobody asked for it. And everybody online, Horizons Unlimited, on the forums, they all saying the same thing, that actually nobody asked them for this letter. Like, no, they just literally checked the passport and waved them through. Yeah, exactly. So there is a really, really high chance of us actually getting through, but there's a really high chance as well of us not getting through. Wait, how so, can there be a high chance of both? Yeah, exactly. It's like so 50-50 <laughs> at the moment. It's like breaking my heart, you know? Yeah, 
Oh yeah, it's just like as soon as that border guard basically says, oh, have you got this letter? Then that's it, you know, we're going to have to tell them that we've applied for it, we don't have it yet. And then they're basically going to say, well, you can't go and then we'll deal with it from there. Let's hope that doesn't happen. We'll find out in an hour and a half. But first, we have to head to a place called Van Jacito, which is in Tecate. And uh, that is where we need to cancel our temporary import permit for Mexico uh, because we paid a $400 bond to get Bumblebee into Mexico. And so we need to go back to this office and basically tell them, hello guys, we're leaving and they will give us our $400 back. So the first stop is to head there and get that process done. And the second step is to head to the border. Yeah, there's times of our journey where it's like really suffering riding, you know, really like it's hardcore riding. This is just one of those easy rides. This is just easy. This is just beautiful. This is just like cruising along, not too hot, not too cold, sun shining. Yeah. Oh. But there seems to be something ahead. Yeah. Some smoke and some lights. Let's find out what's going on. Yeah, maybe there's something actually burning which shouldn't burn. going on here. I have to wait. Yeah, it's quite smoky, eh? Hey? Yeah, something's on fire over there. I don't know what it is, if it's a vehicle or if it's just the, the verge. Yeah, we saw in Mexico actually quite a lot of uh, burn fields and like burning. Oh, okay. No, it might not be to do with the burning. I think uh, it's to do with uh, this true. truck. Oh yeah, now this, I can see it. This truck which seems to have completely oh, no. gone off wow. the road. Yeah, actually, I don't think they care about the burning. <laughs> Guys, there's a huge fire next to you. They're like, oh, don't worry about that. That's all right. <laughs> it's just next to an electrical power station, but don't worry about that. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. All right. We are coming into Tecate and it's a little bit manic here, to be honest, but. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Quite busy. But we are very close to the border now. Literally, the border wall, I just saw it up ahead. It's probably less than a kilometer up ahead. And uh, we just got to find our way to the Banjecito. Yeah, and I try to just breathe and be relaxed as much as I can. Yeah. Everything will be fine, everything will be okay. Yeah, in less than an hour, we will be in the US of A, don't you worry. Oh, it's like closed here. Normally we were supposed to go just yeah. straight. It says I can go uh, left and then right. Okay, let's get our money back. 400 yeah. US dollar. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I can actually see the border uh -huh. on the map here. Two okay. blocks ahead. Actually, wow. the Banjecito is on the last block okay. before the border. Yeah, it looks like the Banjecito is actually just here, just in front. Here, this office? Institute Evaluation. Okay. It's like just here where we are now, somewhere yeah. right here, but yeah. I don't exactly know where. Okay. Insurance, security. Maybe, maybe ask these guys there, these guys there. Okay. The border guys. Okay, I'll ask them. Yeah. Hola. Hola, um, Banjecito. Ah, ah Banjecito aquí? Sí. Okay, entrar aquí or no? Yeah, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go walk in, try and get our $400 back. Wish me luck. 
Everything is done on the Mexican side. I got our deposit back. It should be coming back in the account in the next couple of days, apparently. I got the receipt for it anyway. <laughs> so temporary import permit has been canceled. Our passports have been stamped. Lavi didn't even have to go in. The guy just did it all for me. Amazing. And now they said, basically we go down the street to the left and then that's entering the US. Okay. And I already saw some signs. I saw a sign through there that said stop. <laughs> Not alto. Not pare, but stop. An English sign right over there. We are so close. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go back around there okay. and let's make our way in then, shall we? Wow, yeah, really close now. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait for this car to go past. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, Ooh. I think I'm losing it. There's only so much stress we can take, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so basically down here. Okay. And then to the left. Down, 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 down see. to the left. Is it this left? Let's have a quick look here. Can we go? I'll just ask. Uh, hmm. Around there or? Okay, okay. Oh, apparently that's, we can go through here. Okay. Wow, we didn't have to go round. Wow. That's crazy. They just like, just through there is fine. Skip straight to the front. Okay. And that's the border wall right there. Look at that. Wow. That's the border wall. Wow. I think we better turn off our cameras. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Look, it says stop. Oh my Lord. No. I, I think this is it. No. No. I think this is it. Look no. at this. No, okay, no, no. Okay, right. no. I'm going to stop here just out of okay. courtesy. Yeah. And I think that's it. No way! We have officially <laughs> entered the United States of America. <laughs> You're absolutely joking, hey? No, no, that's it. We're in. No, wait. <sighs> Hello! <laughs> no, that's it. I think we're in. Look. No. Everything's in English. No. Look, drive through, monthly parking only. I just want to read all the Why was I so like bloody stressed the whole time? What are they talking about when they say, oh, you need this paper? You know, they didn't ask us anything. Wow, that was like the most easiest border crossing in the whole world. That was actually really cool. I'm just going to stop here yeah. for a second and then we can just talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so basically we uh, got to the little booth. We gave them the passport and then we said to the guy, oh, he said, where are you headed? And we said, we're headed up to Las Vegas to get married. <laughs> and he said, oh, seeing as you're heading to Vegas, you know, and you're not just going straight up to Canada, then um, you're going to need to do like an additional thing. And uh, we were like, oh, my God, why did we say that? What is going on? <laughs> So then he sent us to another place and we had to park up. So we didn't get waved through completely like Norley did on her video, like Itchy Boots did. We had to stop. Then we went into a little office and there we had to do like fingerprints and he asked us where we were going and we had to like uh, give the address of where we were headed and things like this. We had to pay as well 12 US dollar. Yeah, 12 dollars, but just one time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Six dollars each. Yeah. But it was nothing to do with the bike. The no. whole time I thought it was because of the bike. Yeah. But no, it was not. It was like an additional check on us. But that was it. Like, after that, he was just like, yep, there you go. You're done. Good to go. No questions about the bike. Nothing about, oh, is the bike permit or EPA, Environmental yeah. Protection Agency. Nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing. So, like, the whole, like, I mean, your mom was calling the guys. They said yes you yes. need it our friend duck was calling the guys yes emailed, we need it emailed they said emailed, you need to wait yes, for we... this epa letter <laughs> wow sweetheart we made it yes <laughs> it went well we're here we're inside the us i really can't believe it that's amazing oh my so, god so now we're just gonna check where we gotta go and then we'll make our ride into san diego yes Woo. <laughs> We just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys about our amazing sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you with top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. Just put in your location and this app will provide you with the name, the location and the phone number of the nearest 
English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire, and police numbers, as well as the local embassy address and phone number. But the awesome thing about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only $4.99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. Show your support for our very first sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Stay healthy, travel safe, and now back to the video land storage yards for lease <laughs> i know what that means i understand what that means I, I can actually read that and take information from that you know not that it's relevant to me but i can at least know what it says it's absolutely insane it's such a weird feeling that like like every single sign is now actually relevant to me. I can actually read them, it's insane. It's like one little wall, one little border, and suddenly everything's in English. I can't yes, believe it. Yes, it was even like a sign here, 30 miles an hour. It's like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's actually what Bumblebee's uh, speed gauge is in miles an hour. Yes. So for the first time, I can just look at the speed and not have to go, oh yeah, is that all right or not all right? No, I can actually just go, is it 30? Is it over 30? Yes or no? Oh, what an easy time we're going to have here. What an easy time. Oh, wow. Incredible, man. Incredible. Wow, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it how easy it was. We have an hour to get to San Diego and we decided we're gonna stop at the first fast food restaurant we find and just go and have a bit of a chill out there. Yeah. And just enjoy being in country number 21 on our journey around the world. This girl has a Tesla. That's the San Diego way. It's the California way, should I say. Do you think she has to drive or not? Ooh, that's a good question. Shall I see? Shall I see if she drives? Oh yeah, she's, she's dri driving. No, she's not driving. Was she driving? You sure? Not quite sure. No, I think it's driving itself. Look, she's just drinking. She's not driving. <laughs> she's driving. I'm not sure if she's driving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's another Tesla. Oh, there's a Tesla there. Uh huh. Whoa. Was he driving? <laughs> I just want to see if some. I just want to see somebody <laughs> clearly who's not driving the Tesla. I just want to sit in one of these cars. Yeah. Here we go. We've made it. Our <laughs> first stop in the USA. In and Out Burger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the home of the burger, the land of the burgers. So we thought for our first lunch here in the US, we had to get a burger. Hopefully they got a veggie burger. Yummy! That looks nice here. Hey, uh, do you guys do veggie burgers? Yeah, yeah, you do veggie burger? We do. Oh, awesome. Veggie burger meal with fries and a drink? Would you like onions on your veggie burger? Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Uh, grilled onions. Yeah, why not? Go all in. I think wow. we chose the right burger place because it looks really busy here, so I think people really enjoy the burger here. Perfect. Oh, with a lemon. Guest number 83, please. 83? Okay, so our first burger in America was an invisible burger with no burger. <laughs> yes! Wow, I didn't expect that really. 
Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? It was still a really tasty meal. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe we have to try again in a different place if we want to get our first real American burger. Because it was tasty, but it was a little bit disappointing as well. So I'm not in impressed. Not convinced yet, hey? I'm not impressed burger place in and out burger. <laughs> nope. In and out burger is now on our blacklist. Yes, but I did like the design, like the interior and the furniture and the lady on the counter was really friendly. Yeah, it was like really American diner style on the inside and all their like uh, costumes, outfits that they were all wearing. Yes. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I so loved cool. it too. So now we are heading only a couple of uh, miles away, five miles now, because we are heading to a friend of ours house called Doug. Doug has been a supporter of our journey since like a long time. We've been chatting to him a lot online. We've been sending a lot of stuff to his house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our Christmas presents waiting at his house. Yeah, so this is going to be a real pit stop for us. We've got some supplies waiting at his place. And also he's helped us to arrange uh, a few bits and bobs for Bumblebee here in San Diego, including getting our suspension sorted out because we are bouncing around like crazy. Yeah. So we're going to head to his place now and then uh, we're going to see whether we can actually drop off Bumblebee at the garage to get some stuff done already today or if we have to wait until tomorrow to do that. Actually we didn't uh, let Doug know that we are coming right now so we don't actually know if he's at home or not. We don't have internet at the moment so we just thought you know we have his address let us go and ring the bell. Doug we are coming! <laughs> Wow, look at this cute neighborhood here. I feel like in an American movie now. Amazing. It's my first time in America. So everything is like, yeah, just impressive. <laughs> yeah, look at these little, little streets and avenues with palms and everything. Oh, it's just beautiful here. Everything is so organized. It looks like a model village. I think this is Duck's place with oh, the boat. Yeah. Because I think I saw a picture of his boat <laughs> oh no way <laughs> right let's see if they're in hey Sleep in the tree, and, the and then the, there's shower. And, I mean, our house, Mikasa's your house. Yeah. Yes! 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 take Bumblebee over to the garage today which is good because then we can just get that process started and get everything we need to do done. Yes, Doug and Michelle they're just amazing they're so oh, so friendly I love them. They just showed us around and they just said anything we need they're gonna, they're gonna help us out they're just so so friendly so amazing people wow. We put all the luggage in the garage Bumblebee feels so light now <laughs> All right, we've arrived at the place which is going to take Bumblebee apart and fix her up for us. Fun Bike Center. Yes. Awesome. Fun <laughs> Bike Center. I love the name. <laughs> you made it. All I know yeah. is that is that the oil was inside the thing and then it all dripped out. Now there's no oil in it. Yeah, it's, it's just the rubber now. Yeah. It's a little bouncy. Oh, oh wow. yeah. It's been bouncy since, <laughs> since about Bolivia is when yeah. we started noticing the oil dripping out. Well, good thing Lovey doesn't weigh very much. <laughs> if we can get that off soon, maybe we could take it to the suspension guard yeah. tomorrow. See you in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll leave Bumblebee in the capable hands of Fun Bike Center and we're gonna head off with Doug in a car. 
Yay! Yay! And that's job done for today. They're going to take apart, do everything they need with Bumblebee. And then tomorrow we're going to grab the suspension and take it over to a suspension specialist called Suspension 101. And those guys are going to help us out with that. In a few days, Bumblebee's going to be great. It's going to be like new. <laughs> Ready to go. So good, so good. We made it! Heavy and alive! San Diego! I can't believe it! We are here. I cannot believe it was that easy to cross the border. <laughs> it was super easy! And just like that, we're in San Diego. <laughs> but check out our palace here. It's absolutely amazing. We have like our own little kitchen area here. Then a massive bed. We have our little working space here. Everything's pretty uh, messed up at the moment because <laughs> we've got all our stuff kind of everywhere. But yeah, this is the trailer that we'll be staying in whilst we're staying with Doug and Michelle here in San Diego. And look at the view we've got from here. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here and being so welcomed by these guys. It's just amazing. It's just like, I feel at home. Yeah, and Doug's helping us out now with getting everything we need to do with Bumblebee sorted, with the suspension, possibly some new tires. So we'll be staying with these guys for quite a few days until we get everything sorted and we can just explore San Diego with them. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But we're here, we're in the USA, we've made it. That's the end of Central and South America. I cannot believe it. <sighs> Amazing. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Happy and alive! Woo! Happy and alive! <laughs>